Today we're going to work on some division strategies. The first division strategy we're going to work on is called a friendly number strategy. Basically the idea is to take a problem like 57 divided by 3 and to break the number down into more friendly numbers um, that we can do mentally. Um, the goal here is to not have to do traditional division on the side. So we take a number like 57 and we always take the divisor first. Take that 3 and in my head I think what is 3 times 10? 3 times 10 is 30 so my first friendly part of 57 is going to be 30. Then I think what plus 30 gives me 57? What piece is missing? So it's 30 plus 27. So now I have a number that is the same as 57 but both numbers now are a lot easier to work with because my three times tables I do know up to these numbers. So on this side I think what is 30 divided by 3, and I already know it's 10 because that's how I got it originally. I bring down my plus sign to make sure I don't forget that I'm adding it back together. And then I divide the 27 by 3 as well. Here I get 9, I take my 10 plus 9, add them back together, 19. It's a quick and easy way to get um, an answer for a division problem that's usually two digits divided by one digit. Um, we can even do it for three digits divided by one digit as well. But the idea here is to be able to do this work in our heads eventually. Right now we're just putting it down so that we can get used to the process. Here's another problem we could use the friendly strategy, uh, division strategy for, friendly number division strategy. Uh, 99 divided by 7. Now this is a situation where I can kind of tell that my 7 may not go equally into the 99, but we can still use the same strategy. So the first, time, the first thing we think of is what is 7 times 10? That gives me my first friendly number, which would be 70. Then I think, what plus 70 gives me 99? The missing number would be 29. Over here, 70 divided by 7 gives us the 10. We already knew that because we started with that. And then the 29 divided by 7, I think how many 7s will go into 29 without going over? 4. That gives me 28, so that would be a remainder of 1. Now I put my numbers back together, 10 plus 4, 14. I don't add the remainder, I simply put it back on at the end. So 14 remainder 1 is my answer. So a difficult division problem can be done pretty quickly and possibly even mentally using this friendly number strategy.